Hello everyone, Supermando Bros here, and today we're going to take a look at my first ever Transformers review on the channel, and it is the Transformers Ectotron, which is inspired by Ghostbusters. This is a collaboration between Transformers and Ghostbusters to make a transformable Ecto-1, which is something that I have wanted since I was a very little child, and I finally have it in my hands, which is absolutely unbelievable. The price, though is unbelievable why why is it 60 dollars? but this version is actually based off of the ghostbusters afterlife movie which is the third ghostbuster movie technically the fourth one but we don't count the 2016 one taking a look at the packaging it is definitely g1 inspired which i absolutely love on the top it does say converts from ecto 1 to robot and back Ooh. on the front it does have the ghostbusters and transformers collaboration logo with on the bottom showing art of the ecto 1 from ghostbusters afterlife the old transformers logo eight plus hasbro ectotron ecto-1 on the back it has that iconic g1 art with the transformers logo and on the top it says it is a world of constant change where things are not what they seem it is the world of the transformers a world of heroic autobots and evil decepticons it says that multiple languages has the stats of the ectotron tells us he's an autobot tells us his function which is a paranormal investigator and a brief description that says when life splatters you with marshmallow goo just go with it when the ghostbusters need a ride to the next paranormal hotspot it's nice to have one who can also handle proton facts as I have multiple languages, a whole bunch of legal stuff on the bottom, and yeah, let's get right into it. So, here is the figure out of the package. Now, let's quickly take a look at the accessories because he does come with four pieces of accessories. The first one is Slimer. There's really nothing interesting going on with the Slimer. It's just a green, flexible plastic, and that's about it. It looks like Slimer, and the picture is kind of misleading because the picture that they're using to, you know, advertise this figure has a nice painted Slimer. Well, this one is just translucent green, which is kind of disappointing. What's interesting is that he actually has a hole here, and if you get a Bandai stand, you can plug it in and you can make him fly. The second ghost that comes with with this figure is Muncher. This is a new ghost from Ghostbusters Afterlife, which is just like Slimer but blue and has four extra arms. There's nothing really interesting going on here. It looks like oh shit. It looks like Muncher. There's just not really that much detail. Really no detail at all. And you could also make him fly. The next accessory he comes with is a proton pack, which technically is part of the figure because this transforms into the top part of the Ecto-1. There's some nice sculpting detail as well as paint detail and also a blue hose, which has a plug at the top, which connects to his proton proton gun his blaster I'm just gonna say it's a proton gun this proton gun which looks nice and there's a little hole here which can get plugged in like that and also the entire backpack can get plugged in right here there's this little slot here here you just plug it in and you could wrap this around and get it and you could get him to hold it so take a look at the actual figure this figure is really nice sculpt is absolutely fantastic it looks just like something that would be in the g1 cartoon which is awesome i love the whole g1 aesthetic that they're using here and it is very blocky which i love the paint detail is also pretty good there's some nice rust detail on the hood of the car which looks better when it's transformed into the ecto-1 there's some nice tan white red and a little bit of silver throughout the figure there's not a lot of paint detail but what there is is not that bad i don't see any real big paint errors on this figure also what i really like is that he actually has a ectotron name tag i don't know why i just kind of like that and quickly i just want to talk about this face sculpt holy crap it looks so good the face is absolutely fantastic i love the way it looks and also i like the fact that he has the goggles that ray uses in the first two movies i just really like that the main detail is pretty good so taking a look at the articulation the head can swivel side to side there is no ball joint which is kind of surprising i was kind of hoping there was a ball joint but since this part here can move up and down he can technically look up about that far and down about that far there's no joint at the torso obviously because it's supposed to transform so I'm completely fine with that. For the arms, they can move up about that far and back about that far, obviously because the backpack's in the way. Any arm can move out about that far, but since for the transformation, this can move up, he can technically move about that far, which is really nice. <laughs> There's also a hinge right there so he can move his arm up about that far there's also a second bend right here and also that can swivel side to side so technically it can move 90 degrees which is really nice and also the hand can move in because it's supposed to transform for the legs they can move forward about that far and back about that far obviously the backpack kind of ruins the articulation and it can move out about that far which is pretty good there's a swivel up here there is a singular bend at the knee and the feet can move 
up. That's only because of the transformation. So overall, the articulation is not that bad. Uh, some stuff I can forgive because it's supposed to transform into a vehicle. And it's just kind of wish there was a little bit more articulation. Taking a look at Ectotron's vehicle mode, which is the Ecto-1, it looks very nice. If I didn't tell you this was a Transformer, you would believe that this is a actual model of the Ecto-1. It just looks that good. The rust looks very nice at the front. The cracked and faded Ghostbusters logo on the side and back also look very nice. And the top looks really nice, even though it's kind of a pain in the ass to put on. And also this blue hose here is also kind of a pain in the ass to put on. But when it all works out, it just looks very nice. Unfortunately though, you can see his feet at the bottom and there's nothing you can really do about that it just kind of sucks but overall it's a nice looking vehicle mode so overall, I think this is a pretty good figure. The sculpt is absolutely fantastic. The paint is pretty good. The articulation is all right. And the Ecto-1 looks very nice. It's just not worth $60. So if you ever find this figure on discount like I did, then I highly recommend you get this figure. 